I'm Matt Florence and this is my channel. You're watching my video on Chelsea Manning. Let's go. Now I'm making this video now because just four days ago in January the 17th, Barack Obama granted clemency, meaning to allow out of jail, a person called Chelsea Manning, earlier known as Bradley Manning. Chelsea Manning was sentenced to 35 years for leaking classified military intelligence belonging to the United States. Bradley Manning in 2009 was part of an intelligence unit who fought, well not fought, but worked in Iraq with the United States military. And as a part of the job as an intelligence officer, Chelsea Manning was given a access to a lot of classified information that the United States had on the war. And this included a video which is now known as Collateral Murder, which shows a United States Apache helicopter gunning down a crowd of unarmed civilians while the pilots lie about the people on the ground and the weapons that they have, and then open fires on a bus full of children. Luckily, there was one soldier called Ethan McCord who was on the ground and uh, helped Chelsea Manning in bringing out the truth of what happened. And then the situation turned deadly. Come on, fire. We heard the Apaches firing. Ethan and his infantry squad began running toward the scene to provide support. Again, the Apache helicopter opened fire. Come on. When he arrived on the scene, the Apache guns were quiet. The accused enemies were dead. Chelsea Manning is special to me because she was the one who got me into politics, or more specifically, anti-imperialist politics. When she released the collateral murder video, which was later given to WikiLeaks and then uploaded, it showed me you know, okay, this is how the United States is acting in Iraq. They are killing civilians, I just saw it on camera. Now, you know, an entire army can't be blamed for a few bad eggs. But this wasn't a few bad eggs, because what really kicked me was how in the comments of this video were tens of thousands of die-hard supporters of the United States military saying, oh, you know, those civilians deserved it. Oh, yeah, they were. Oh, this happens all the time. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, it's fine. Whoever leaked this video is the person who should be punished. That's very telling that the very higher-ups in the United States military decided to lock away the person who exposes the war crimes, but protect the people who are caught on camera gunning down crowds of unarmed civilians. Now, we know how in the United States, occasionally, there is a ridiculous case of a police officer being caught, you know, shooting an unarmed civilian in the back. I'm not saying that's what they always do, but, um, you know, they shoot an unarmed civilian in the back and somehow said police officer seems to get off scot-free. You know, completely off the record, you're free to go, or maybe we'll give you paid leave. If that is how they treat their own civilians, if that is how the United States government the forces that protect the United States government treat their own civilians, then how are they treating people in the mountains of Afghanistan, or the deserts of Pakistan, or places such as Iraq, Libya, and Syria? I just drove over a body. <laughs> yeah. One guy's head, was com the top of his head was completely off and his brains were, were on the ground. And, and the smell, the smell still haunts me today. If a United States police officer can shoot one of their own civilians in the back, will an unarmed civilian in the back on video and get away with it, then imagine an American soldier or a sniper or a machine gunner in the mountains of Afghanistan, in places where people don't have cameras or videos, or they can't afford them, and being given complete reign to do whatever they want. Just imagine how they must act. It I don't even know how to describe it. When he approached the van, a noise Ethan wasn't expecting, a cry of a little girl. I think she was four years old. and um, You could tell she had a wound to the stomach. And uh, I remember her looking at me, and, and the blood around her eyes made her eyes so ghostly white. Ethan grabbed the girl and ran into a nearby building. He then picked glass out of her eyes so she could blink and handed her off to a medic. I went back outside and um, was told to take pictures. So I started taking pictures of the inside of the van. And that's when he discovered the little boy. And that's me. What's in your eyes? That is a little boy um, who I originally thought was dead. Despite their injuries, the children survived. 
But part of Ethan changed forever that day. But I couldn't stop myself from crying. I couldn't stop myself from feeling the way that I was feeling. When he did seek mental help, he says he was mocked by his commanders and threatened with expulsion from the military. Two other such videos released by Manning include the infamous Baghdad airstrike and Grenai airstrike. The Baghdad airstrike of 2007, but the Grenai airstrike refers to the killing of approximately 86 to 147 Afghan civilians by an airstrike from a United States Air Force B-1 bomber in 2009 in the village of Grenai. So that's Chelsea Manning, one of the greatest whistleblowers of our time, and very brave to have faced prison with her head held up high after exposing the truth of what the United States is doing in, in countries such as Afghanistan and Iraq. So I'm at Florence and I cannot wait until she gets out of jail in May 2017. This is Matt Florence, this is my channel on modern events. I also do history and I also do interviews with people in the current. This is my channel and I hope you like it. And I hope you like, um, for my long time subscribers, I hope you like my new background, my pet, which will be named Rosa after Rosa Luxemburg. And my new intro and outro music. Thank you, I'm Matt Florence. Remember to subscribe to me on Facebook too, you can see that in the description. Goodbye. Thank you, you've been watching the 10,000 League. If you liked this, then click here to subscribe, or click here to see one of my past videos, or even if you want to, click here to add me on Facebook, and click in the link in the description to join Comrade Lennon's dank meme stash. I'm Matt Florence, goodbye to you.